Yes, I can imagine. What do you say we give my plan, say, three months? If you still have a problem with it after that, you can submit a 20 to 30 page written analysis and we'll discuss it. I don't work that way. Look, Ray. Roy. Yeah. It won't be long before you realize that you and I want the same thing. <laughs> we do? I assure you. You're a team player, Ray. I can see that. So trust my game plan. Give me 110% on the field and I promise we'll go the long yardage together. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a team player. I guess. That's the spirit. Oh, and now, Ray, be sure you take a long look at paragraph six. Thank you very much. I don't care what paragraph six says. An athletic instructor should not be required to dress like a clown. Oh, it looks nice, Roy. Relax. Lighten up. Have some fun with it. It's disgusting what's happening to this school. Rock music, video games in the library. You can't expect kids to acquire a sense of discipline when you get a principal acts like a 14-year-old. But it's working, Roy. I can't believe how eager my students have become. Kids just seem to learn so much better when they're, when they're excited about it. A swift kick in the pants gets them excited, too. You don't mean that. You've always said that kindness and understanding were the most important things. Sometimes there's no substitute for a firm hand. I'm telling you that. Are you serious? Absolutely. Wait a minute. Is that how you would treat our children? I take each situation as it comes. Hey. Listen, let's uh, talk about something more pleasant, huh? Like uh, dinner. Huh? Tell you what, we'll stop by my place, I'll get out of this ridiculous outfit, and uh, we'll go to that little Italian place I've been telling you about, huh? What do you um... say? Come on. I think I'll just go on home, Roy. I've got a stack of term papers to mark. What's it like being an adult, anyway? Well, it's OK, I guess. All except for the shaving part. But people listen to you, don't they? They take you seriously, don't they? Yeah. Take you seriously? Ah, oh, that must be great. I can't wait. Here, this is you. Go put yourself in the dome. Is it already fixed? Well, we'll find out in a moment. junk. First we lose the discipline, now the vegetables. The road to anarchy is paved with pepperoni. Okay, gang, there's some places right here. Everybody grab a seat. Excuse me, Mr. Forndexter, but these are staff tables. No students are allowed. Ray, baby, we're in this together. From now on, there's no such thing as a staff table. <laughs> okay, everybody, go out, find some seats with everybody, mix, mingle, get to know the students. Come on, Peg. Let's finish lunch in my office. Oh, uh, I'm... I'm fine here, Roy. Wow. When you come to your senses, I'll be in my office. Oh, somebody's having a bad day. I'm sorry. He's not usually this touchy. Eh, some of us just don't react well to change, it seems. Those of us on the radical edge of educational methodology must get used to such pinheads and bogus types. I suppose that's true. You know, Miss Noble, I think you and I see many things in very much the same way, through rose-covered glasses. You have a unique way of putting things, and a unique way of doing things. Well, thank you, Miss Noble. You know, I'd like to hear some of your ideas for improving the school. My ideas? You have some, don't you? <laughs> Lots. Then let's discuss them tonight, at dinner. 
Oh, um, that would be very nice, Mr. Forndexter, but I'm... Oh, it, it would be strictly on a professional level, of, of course. To talk about my ideas? Absolutely. Well, <laughs> why not? All right. <laughs> I mean, terrific. It's impossible. I will completely book, so there's nothing I can do. Good evening, Henri. Oh, good evening, sir. You'll see that the lady and I are well taken care of. Oh, you? Yes, sir. Uh, right this way, sir. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. You look beautiful this evening. The way the candlelight catches your eyes reminds me of Paris after the war. Sparkling with a thousand lights. I hear the merengue. Shall we dance? You look beautiful this evening. The way the candlelight catches your eyes reminds me of Paris after the war, sparkling with a thousand lights. You look beautiful this evening. What again? Where is that O'Neill kid? Did anyone tell him dinner is ready? Well, I told him, Uncle Herb, but he said he had to work straight through on an English paper. You see, there he is up in his room right now. You see, he's pacing back and forth. must be tired. He's dropped over from exhaustion. Probably fainted from hunger. school. Uh, so do you. This is for you. Oh, you didn't have to do that. That's sweet. An artichoke? I wanted to give you something with heart, and it was the only thing in the fridge. Oh, I like it. No one's ever given me an artichoke before, though I can't imagine why not. Uh, make yourself comfortable. I'll just be a minute. Oh, and could you get my jacket? It's in the kitchen. Yes, yes, I got it. Oh, thank you. So, where'd you park? Park? Mm. Huh? Oh, oh, my car's in the bus, so I took a shop. I, I mean, uh, I thought we could take yours tonight, if that's okay. Oh, sure. Um, can you drive a stick? A stick? Sure, no problem. Okay. A stick, huh? Isn't that one of those new Yugoslavian cars? Good evening, sir. Good evening, Henri. You'll see that the lady and I are well taken care of tonight, won't you? The name is Bob, sir. Right this way, please. Thank you, Henri Bob. Gracias. Thank you. Your waiter will be here shortly. <laughs> 